Is it possible that NASA has not told the general public everything they know about the planet Mars? Take, for example, the popular discussion on whether life ever existed on Mars, which NASA has stated was possible, but it had to have been at least three, closer to four billion years ago, based on evidence of oceans, lakes, and rivers once existing on Mars. However, how could these terrain features, which are found throughout virtually the entire surface of Mars, have survived billions of years of erosion and routine sandstorms of tropical storm strength, as I'll be discussing here shortly. Let me start off by showing you a very short clip that I edited down of a conversation between Congressman Warbacher and a NASA executive in July of this year, which you may have seen. I made a video on this topic, and I'll include a link for it at the end of this video. But for this video, I'm making a completely different point. So take a look at this, ignore the part about ancient civilization, and let's discuss. You have indicated that Mars had a, uh, was totally different thousands of years ago. Uh, is it possible that there was a civilization on Mars thousands of years ago? So the evidence is that uh, Mars was different billions of years ago, not billions thousands of years ago. Well, yes. That. And, and um, there would be, there is no evidence that uh, I'm aware of that would you, rule, would you rule that out? That, see, there's some people, well, anyway. I would, I would say that is extremely unlikely. Okay. Now, again, ignore the part about ancient civilization for the point of this video and just focus on the thousands of years ago versus the billions of years ago discussion. How on earth do these terrain features survive that long period of time? And, of course, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. NASA themselves have shown evidence of running water on Mars existing today. Take, for example, the abundance of ice at the North and South Pole of Mars. And you can see that these ice caps change yearly based on season, as well as the fact that some of these ice portions do exist in various mountain ranges and craters on Mars. So although there is evidence of running water on Mars today, it's in certain areas, and it doesn't explain the fact that there are water channels located thousands of miles from any type of ice, and they've survived billions of years of routine sandstorms, these storms are absolutely massive. And just to clarify, they're not of hurricane strength like many people have often thought and seen in movies, yet they're tropical storm strength, 70 miles an hour, and they are so massive that many of them can only truly be appreciated from orbit and satellite imagery. And you can see here that many of these storms will cover the entire planet and go on for hours on end and days on end in some cases. And the effects of these storms on the surface are massive. And you can see here the differences on how the terrain changes based off just one storm. So if NASA is so adamant that the surface of Mars was different three, closer to four billion years ago, which by the way, dig into that. I'll have to make, this is just gonna be part one. There's other points to be made. So look forward to other videos. But if you look at the fine print on how they explain these, these billions of years, I mean, it doesn't really make sense, and they don't have a way to prove it. I mean, have we sent people to Mars to do the testing? These rovers can only do so much. So how can they honestly state 3 billion years, 4 billion years? Why not 1 billion? Why not 500 million? So getting away from those time frames, we've seen the evidence that just one massive storm completely changes the terrain of Mars altogether. So how many sandstorms would have happened over, you know, 3, 4 billion years? There's certainly more than one a year. I don't have a specific number other than that they are routine and they happen frequently. So what, tens of billions of sandstorms and yet there are existing evidence of these lake beds, water channels, and rivers? I can understand some of the larger terrain features lasting a very long period of time, maybe billions of years. Take a look at these two photos here of the same river that NASA claims is evidence of ancient flooding from billions of years ago. This river is nearly a thousand miles long a thousand feet deep in almost four and a half miles across. Absolutely massive. And yet they think that this would survive billions of years of erosion. How many tens of billions of sandstorms is that? Th that would cover it up and re-expose it. The winds and sand of time would wear away at the edges. And we're supposed to believe that this much evidence would survive three billion years. But getting back to these other photos of rivers that are much, much smaller, evidence of creeks, evidence of streams, and we're supposed to believe that these would survive billions of sandstorms. So when it comes down to it, it's not appropriate to say that these terrain features that are thousands of miles of any ice source whatsoever on Mars would survive billions of years, or even millions of years, or even hundreds of thousands of years. In fact, thousands of years is the appropriate estimate. And many other people are talking about this, which is why 
Congressman Rohrbacher brought it up to this NASA executive, and he didn't follow through right. He didn't provide the evidence. And he just let it go. He got weak in the moment. <laughs> but clearly, you can see and just think for yourself that there's more to this story here. These terrain features do not survive billions of years. They don't survive millions of years. And I'm not saying none of them would. Perhaps they're, you know, when you have a thousand foot deep river, maybe that would survive a certain period of time, a very long period of time. But billions? Guys, clearly there's far more to the story of Mars than what we've been told. And there's other key points that are worthy of mention. So consider this video just part one. And there'll be others to come where I outline evidence of massive contradiction from what NASA has told us based on evidence that we can see for ourselves. So I'll leave it at that. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Share your thoughts on all of this. And I have many other videos to come on a whole wide variety of topics. Take care, everybody.